This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2 KE9 NS Revision T8, and it's all about the band stack function. So, in Power SDR, there's normally a band stack function, and you normally just access it by clicking on the band button multiple times. <clears throat> Typically, there's three uh, memories, and so it just cycles through as you hit them. I've added this feature here a while back. Uh, it's the shows you where you are in the index and the total number uh, in the index. And I recently added, if you left click on that, it opens up a band stack window. You can click always on top. There's room for nine, um, nine memories. And they would normally uh, change as you uh, you cycle through and you would make changes move frequency and then you would cycle to the next one it would make changes to those well I've added a uh, feature a lock feature so now in this case you're show showing all these are locked uh, but um, you can click on any one of these and go to them if, if I cycle through from the band button it'll do the same thing uh, I can click on this if I right click it unlocks it so now I can actually, let's say, change the mode or the filter and the frequency. You can change all three if you want. And then when I go to the next, the next band, all that's updated. So if I go back, see now my upper side band, and it's all you know changed. Now I can right click again and lock it. So now if I try to make any changes, change it to lower side band, and I go off to the next band, I come back it's all back to where it was over sideband it's locked so it can't can't be changed so uh, and if you see mem that means it's actually in the memory your list of memories so if I click on this one it's showing the blue line here which was from the spotter window uh, displaying all my memories with the blue lines on the screen um, so that's in that list now I can add let's say up to nine so if I want um, I can choose a new frequency. Um, let's say I come over here, choose a new one here. So I put my mouse over the, the band button and I hold down the control button and it says it right here in the text. So control and then I right click, it adds a new uh, memory to the band stack. So I got six now and it also says mem because that one happens to be in my memory list. It's unlocked. So it will change if I'm roaming around when I'm on that index, but again, I can right click and lock it. So now those are all locked. Uh, every band, including the shortwave bands, I've got all nine right here. Um, some are locked, some are not locked, but uh, different for the different frequencies I've got. Different ones are locked down. And uh, so that's the band stack function.